Hello. A long time ago, there lived an artist called Vincent van Gogh. Vincent saw beauty in things that most of us would never notice. His paintings make us realise how stunning everyday objects and people are. This is a story about the world through Vincent's eyes. It's called Vincent and the Sunflowers. Story and illustrations by Barbara Stock. Do you see that yellow house? An artist lives there. The artist's name is Vincent. He really loves to paint. He does it every day. Sometimes he gets so lost in his painting that he even forgets to eat. It's wonderful to look at something and see that it's beautiful and to think about it and then decide, I'm going to paint that, he says. Vincent wants to make paintings that touch people's hearts. Paintings that you look at and think, oh, that's so wonderful. You can paint all kinds of things. Vincent once painted a picture of his own shoes, old brown shoes with a bit of sand on them. He thought they made a good subject for painting. It takes Vincent days to make a painting, sometimes a whole week or even longer. So he has to pick his subjects carefully. I have so many ideas, he cries enthusiastically. Now Vincent is looking for a new subject for his next painting. It's time to go out and about. Vincent walks through the streets. He passes a good-looking young man and a good-looking young woman. They're so beautiful that they could be models. Why doesn't he ask them to pose for a portrait? Ah no, he thinks. That woman with the big nose and that man with the crooked teeth are so much more interesting. There's real character in those faces, he says. If everyone was perfect, the world would be boring. Vincent walks through the meadows. He sees a big tree. A tree has character too. One tree seems proud and the other looks twisted and knotty. He calls this one full of majesty and serenity. When Vincent draws or paints a tree, he does it very carefully. He keeps going until there's life in his picture, because trees are living creatures just like humans, and Vincent wants to show that in his art. Trees grow just like us, and they drink water just like us, and trees can dance with their branches just like we can with our legs. Yes, trees are a good subject to draw and paint, thinks Vincent, but not today because today he's looking for something else. Then he pauses for a moment. What do you think he's seen? Take a closer look. Wow, a blade of grass is really rather amazing, isn't it? Simple and fragile, but also strong and very, very green, says Vincent. A blade of grass is alive too, like a tree, it's just a bit smaller. And a patch of grass is one big family of blades of grass all together. An excellent subject, thinks Vincent. I can calm myself by gazing at a blade of grass. But today he's looking for something different in his next painting. Then Vincent spots a bird's nest high up in a tree. A nest is a house for birds. Or maybe it's the other way round. A house is a kind of nest for humans. Human nests, Vincent calls them. Birds are more like us than you think. Birds can sing just like us and they love tasty food just like we do. High above the meadows, huge clouds are rolling towards him. Ugh, rain. Now everything will get wet, but Vincent doesn't mind at all. How beautiful it is outdoors when everything is wet with rain, he cries. The wonderful deep shades of the mud, the sparkling of the ponds. I should never miss a single rain shower. After the streets and meadows and the trees and the clouds, Vincent comes to the place where he needs to be. A little garden full of sunflowers, huge yellow flowers on long, strong stalks. Groups of sunflowers always look in the same direction. They like to turn their faces towards the sun. Most of the sunflowers are in full bloom, but Vincent does not choose those ones. Look, there are some on the ground too. Their stalks are snapped and some of the petals are already a little brown. 
These are the ones that Vincent chooses for his painting. He can already picture it. It will be a symphony in yellow, he says. Vincent sees beauty in things that most people just pass by and ignore. Birds' nests, grass, old shoes, clouds, trees, the shades of the mud, the interesting people, the sunflowers and the rain. Yes, the whole world is full of life. The end. Would you like to see the world the way Vincent saw it? Why not pick three objects every day and look at them, really look at them? Perhaps it's a plant in your house or an old stuffed toy, maybe a pile of old leaves or old shoes. Look at the shape, see how many colours you can spot, maybe even try drawing them yourself. There are so many extraordinary things about the ordinary. See if you can find them for yourself. If you like this book, the link below will take you to a place where you can buy it. Until next time, goodbye.